I just want to make sure you are you good? Dad, I never did nothing to anybody, right? Mama never did nothing to me. Dad, I never did nothing to Mama, right? Everything's everything is safe. Have we not have we have Dad? I put hands on Mama, or Mama put hands on Dad? No, right? Okay, so there's no reason to call the police, right? We just make it a movie. We just. In a shocking turn of events, singer and reality TV star Ray J has made headlines once again this time, following a domestic dispute that led to his arrest. According to reports, the One Wish singer found himself in trouble after an alleged altercation with his wife, Princess Love, took a serious turn. The tension between Ray J and Princess Love is nothing new to fans of their reality show Love Hip Hop Hollywood. The couple has had a turbulent relationship marked by public spats and separations over the years. However, this latest incident seems to have escalated to a level previously unseen, with their young children reportedly being directly involved by contacting law enforcement. Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl Candy, and you are checking out All Urban Central. I just want to make sure you are you good? Dad, I never did nothing to anybody, right? Mama never did nothing to me. Dad, I never did nothing to Mama, right? Everything's everything is safe. Have we not have we have Dad? I put hands on Mama, or Mama put hands on Dad? No, right? Okay, so there's no reason to call the police, right? We just make it a movie. We're just playing, okay? We can go to my house, but I just want to make sure everything is safe here with Melody and everybody. Go get you a sweater. Go get a sweater and we'll go. But nothing nothing crazy has happened. I got it all on tape. All right, so let's get you some, let's put on your shoes. I don't, I don't want to leave I gotta leave, baby. I don't want, I don't want anything that. Everything's okay. I just want to make sure everything is safe. I love your mom. Your mom loves me. No, I love your mom. Your mom loves me as I just want to keep it documented that nothing is happening and that we're all, we are, we both respect each other and we love each other. This was just a pretend thing, okay? We just had an argument, okay? I don't want it to get out of hand and I wanted to make sure it's recorded and seen so we, we're all super safe. Just because somebody has a disagreement doesn't mean anything, you know? Mm. Calling the police over a disagreement is loud and I'm not with that. Okay? I love you. Your mom loves you. Did you check on your mom? Mm -hmm. Go check on her one more time. Tell her you're going with Dada. Go with, do it one more time and tell her you're going with Dada. Mm -hmm. You have to one more time so she knows you're going with me. Okay? That's the right thing to do. Huh? We're just going. Everything's fine. It was just pretend. Okay, baby? Everything's fine. I want Epic to just tell mama that he's going with me so mama knows what's going on. Okay? And we're... Don't, don't, it's not like that, baby. It's my brother. I spent time with him for a long you. time. I love you. I know, I love you. Come I love my brother. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I love my brother. And I love you, okay? 
okay? He loves you, okay? So I tell your mom, I'm so sorry, but whatever no, is going on. No, make her happy. Come upstairs. How do I make your mom happy? Um, I give, I saw her, my... give her a hug. She's not... Do you think she's going to take my hug? <coughs> go ask your mom, will she take that as a hug? No. Go ask her. Yeah. No, you have to go ask her. <laughs> I don't want to be in dangerous like area, okay? Go, a, go ask your mom real quick, okay? Hey, baby boy. She said, leave me alone. She said, leave who alone? Herself. She told you to leave her alone? Mm hmm did she give you a hug? It's okay. She's just mad. She's still a great mom, okay? She loves you. I love you. I don't know if I think wants to go with us. I'll stay here. I just don't want somebody to call the police on me for me not doing nothing. Like we're just having a conversation. My huh, baby? Huh? She wants to take my hug? Uh -huh. Okay, then everything's okay? Yeah. All right, cool. Following his arrest, Ray J. born William Ray Norwood Jr. was booked on domestic violence charges. It is unclear whether he has been officially charged or if further investigation is required. Legal experts suggest that if found guilty, Ray J. could be facing significant legal consequences, especially considering the involvement of their children in the case. Right now, as you can see, and I just don't understand how somebody can get stranded we never left. We've been right here. <laughs> you stay right there. People gonna get into the little arguments here and there. There are small stuff that you can work out. But to take this to social media and create this crazy story about me leaving my baby in harm's way is not cool. Our circle needs to be tight like that and nobody should be able to get in. If we get into something big or small, we should be able to hug each other and love each other and listen to each other and understand what we need to do to make it right. How can I make adjustments? How can I compromise to make you happy? It goes both ways in a relationship. This is not it. I apologize for everything that's happening. We are supposed to be at the tightest and at the strongest. We have another baby coming in and these are not things we supposed to do. The devil's working, but he's not working hard enough and he will never work hard enough because my family is something that I will always die for and the devil ain't ready to do that. About two weeks ago, I found a, an extra phone that Ray had been hiding, or that Ray, he wasn't hiding, he had it. And um, he had been giving his number out. He had admitted to me that he was, I found this phone that he had, I went through it, I confronted him about it. He was honest. Well, he tried to lie at first. He was honest. And um, he basically admitted that he had been entertaining, you know, some women, the stay women, because my baby's right here. And, you know, I told him, just be honest with me. If, you, if you're honest, we ended up. So we ended up checking out of the hotel because it was time to check out and then I ended up checking up, checking into another hotel. And we're in another hotel right now. We are not where Ray is in the Skylofts. I have not talked to him. He has not unblocked me. He has not called me, hasn't checked on me or Melody. Um, we're done. Okay, we've been done. So we're done. And you're free to do whatever you want. And you're free to continue to talk to whoever you want. Thank because you. Because I already know you're talking to Okay. Yeah, okay. You, you want to go it. talk to other while we in a relationship? You tried to the day we got I, married. No, I did not. Stop lying to yourself. So right? I deserve to get cheated on? No, you cheated on me by talking to some Ray. random no. You talking to three right now. And was in the bathroom for a while. You got watch... media takeout. Oh, first thing. <laughs> Well, First according thing. to this top story on here, British oh, actor John Boyega is now dating Ray J's wife, Who, Princess Love. Oh. You know him from The Woman King. The Woman King? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, so that's John Boyega. Okay, you're taking no, your glasses no, off. Uh oh. Okay. Don't you don't gotta look too hard. You I good? Know, so they've out. been allegedly okay. spotted out at a hot spot called Station 1640. And um, you know, they were sitting together at a table, quote, boot up. Oh. As well. And okay. so got it. 
So okay. there you you have it. Hold on, let me. I just want to see. We can see it after too. Okay, yeah, we can see, see if he's it after. A good guy. Is he a Glasses? nice guy? Is he like a right? Dirty you guy? can't look at a picture and see yes, if somebody. You can. Okay, well this is oh, this is cool. John Boyega. He's in They Clone Tyrone, The Woman like King. Him. Yeah. Okay. Um, you approve? He's all right. Yeah, because you know you, you don't want you don't want you don't want to be with that dude. You know what I'm saying? That's yes. when it's like okay. He needs to be good, solid. If he's gonna see be around your kids, see potentially. Okay. Oh, Ray don't J say that. He doesn't want to hear that part yet. What? Not around the kids. Okay. Yet. But no, it's, it, no it's you know what? It's not like that. I got my kids with me. So okay. my, mm-hmm. my son with me. Okay. Okay. And All my right. daughter with, with her because my daughter doing school. She loves school. She don't never want to miss school. I love my that. Son in preschool, I love that for her. Like, which is like daycare. <laughs> Why well, go to preschool and you can go to Ray Care? With your <laughs> Ray dad Care. At. Ray J has not yet made a public statement regarding his arrest, but his legal team is expected to release a statement soon. Many fans are curious about how this latest scandal will affect the singer's personal and professional life. Ray J has always maintained a strong presence in the media, both for his music and his reality TV ventures. Dad, I never did nothing to anybody, right? Mama never did nothing to me. Dad, I never did nothing to Mama, right? Mm-hmm. Everything's everything is safe. Mm-hmm. Have we not? Have we, have Dad? I put hands on Mama, or Mama put hands on Dad? No, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's no reason to call the police, right? <laughs> We're just making a movie. We're just playing, okay? We can go to my house, but I just want to make sure everything is safe here with Melody and everybody. Go get you a sweater. Go get a sweater, and we'll go. But nothing, nothing crazy is happening. I got it all on tape. All right, so let's get you some. Let's put on your shoes. I gotta leave, baby. I don't want. I don't want anything that. Everything's okay. I just want to make sure everything is safe. I love your mom. Your mom loves me. Loves me. No, I love your mom. Your mom loves me. It's I just want to keep it documented that nothing is happening and that we're all. We are. We both respect each other and we love each other. This was just a pretend thing, okay? We just had an argument, okay? I don't want it to get out of hand and I wanted to make sure it's recorded and seen so we, we're all super safe. Just cause somebody has a disagreement doesn't mean anything, you know? Um, calling the police over a disagreement is loud and I'm not with that, okay? I love you, your mom loves you. Did you check on your mom? Mm-hmm. Or check on her one more time, tell her you're going with that act. But we'll do it one more time and tell her you're going with Dada. You have to one more time so she knows you're going with me, okay? That's the right thing to do. Huh? This is not the first time that Ray J and Princess Love's relationship has been marred by controversy. In 2019, Princess accused Ray J of abandoning her in Las Vegas while she was pregnant with their second child, leading to a public fallout that was heavily covered by the media. They later reconciled but their relationship has always been seen as tumultuous. Yeah, I got you. You know, I understand, man. I mean, yeah, that video was wrong, man. So he pretty much blackballed ever since that video came out. And you got a lot of people that's wondering mm-hmm. why any of his friends haven't came out and spoke up for him. But why you think that is? When you see what you saw, uh, it's, there'll never be no support in that. Never. That was, but that's before they saw what they saw. Once they saw what they saw, once I saw what I saw, I ain't never seen no shit like that, bro. Can't nobody do nothing like that in front of me, in person. Mm-mm. Yeah, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I still can't believe he crashed out like that. I am too. I am too. There's only one thing that, there's only one thing that can, that can, That can, that can go after that. What's that? I can't tell you. It's too deep. It's too violent. But just imagine that, man. You know, looking at Diddy, he been having success for like over 30 years. And to see him go out like this, man, I'm still in disbelief, man. 
as it should. Yeah, speaking of um, Diddy, man, Big, you know Big? Yeah. I, re- I did. I did. I can give you a story. Shout out to Little Seeds. It was like the day or two before all that shit happened. But Big had invited me down to the uh, Four Seasons, him and Seas. And sh- we spent all day literally brainstorming about some shit, watching all the videos that was coming out. Um, yeah, big plans for Little Kim, big plans for the new shit he was doing with Seas. Um, yeah, man. That was like a day before. That nigga was cool more than most people in the world. Cool, real cool, dude. Shout out to Lil C's. Um, and he'll back all that up because you want that to be backed up, saying shit like that. Those are my brother Lil C's, though. He made it all happen. Social media has been buzzing with reactions since news of Ray J's arrest broke. Fans and celebrities alike have taken to platforms like Twitter and Instagram to express their shock, concern, and even support for both Ray J and Princess Love. Hashtags like Pray for Ray J and Support Princess Love are already trending, as the public speculates on what this means for the couple's future. How you feel about everything that's going on with Diddy right now? It's just not okay. And, you know, when somebody is around somebody, we're counting on them to be our one of our leaders in a space that we're all trying to get to. That's not acceptable to do. And um, it's not okay. I mean, it might be forgivable in the sense of a spiritual realm of life or forgive everybody, but it's unforgettable. And that's where you just draw the line on friendship and hanging out and, and supporting and being cool. It's like, niggas, it's done, you know, and that's it. Yeah, that video was out of pocket, man. It should never get to that point where you stumping a female, man. It's not okay, man. And it's not, and it's not something that niggas can just take lightly, you know? Cannot do that. Not okay. Niggas is not cool. Dude. You know and Diddy personally, was you surprised when you seen that video? Heartbreaking and shameful. And unacceptable. I've never seen nothing like that. I've never seen nothing like that in the, in the history of my life. So, that's a new for me. I don't know what kind of demon you are, but you know, somebody need to motherfucking form an exorcism fast. Yeah, I feel you, man. I mean, I'm still in disbelief about what I seen. To see him kicking her like that, man. Yeah, that was crazy, man. It, there's no there, there, there's no place in, in that. And for somebody like me or anybody to say what I'm saying, they better not have had something like that happen. You get what I'm saying? Because now they didn't put their whole self at risk with being honest, you know what I'm saying? It's like people watch these reality shows and you see certain people arguing and shit get a little tense, right, on reality. But there's a there's a certain level of where you don't go. You get what I'm saying? And this and that just do not go together. It just doesn't. You can't compare this of, you know, a, a back and forth verbal whatever it is in a sense of having a disagreement right and and even getting too loud at this point is not even okay but that is way on another page of somebody yelling or screaming that is not that's not humane you think it's over for him it's not about that it's just about you know, life, life in this industry goes on without certain people because their membership club is revoked. 
their membership in the club is revoked, it's, it's over. So you don't have room to make mistakes like that in the, in the big club. You can't do that. You can't. It's inexcusable. What you mean by that when you say his membership is revoked? Meaning, if you threw a party tonight, the people on your inv inv invitation list, that club, the people that throw a party tomorrow or a foundation um, for be anything, anything that that um, that has substance to it, right? It's no longer available for certain people to be invited to or, or welcome. As Ray J deals with the immediate fallout from this incident, it's unclear how this will affect his ongoing projects. The star, who recently delved into tech with his Raycon Global brand, has built a reputation as a savvy businessman. However, his personal troubles might overshadow his professional achievements. Like Stevie J say something, you know, in defense of Diddy. And all of those people who are his quote unquote, you know, that, that's his people, you know, that's his friends. You know, are hesitant, maybe, do you think they're hesitant to say something because, you know, whatever could happen to them? Because, you know, there's, there's subpoenas going out, there's this, there's that. Do you think that's what's happening? You, you know, or, or is there another reason why other people ain't speaking out in his defense? I think a lot of people are just trying to understand it understand what is and what's not, you know? It's still a big question mark. Uh, pray for everybody, though. Prayers go up for everybody. Uh, well, what do you think about, like, the idea that, like, there's people saying it's, it's not the Diddy party, that the, the, the legendary Diddy party that's the, uh, was the problem, it's the after party. You think that's more of what the, the feds are, like, looking into here? Not Because you've been to those the, the regular party, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's been to those parties. It, it, those, those weren't problematic in any way, according to those like recap videos, and you know, I mean, what do you think? I don't know, man. I gotta play the fifth on that one. You've been in the game for so long doing uh, doing reality. How do you feel like, you know, as as a, as the boss of, of a network, like you change the game? Um, you know, it's, a, it's it, when you start these businesses, it takes a while to like get this thing up and running. So it's a five-year, ten-year process. So. You know, we're ready for the hard work that gotta that gotta be put into it. For example, like, did you get tired of like the way those the, the networks, the reality networks that currently kind of run things, were operating? No, nah, it's it, what's crazy is that we got the new network. We're still in business with Viacom. We love AMC. We love WeTV. We, we, BT is family. VH1 is family. You see what we did with Zeus? New network. I mean, it's all it's, it all goes hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? No, we got. We got some really some some uncut raw shows, but we also got some good shows with some balance to it. Cooking shows. We do have shows that have a lot of drama, but um, you know I think the story arc that we got at the end of these shows is more powerful than all these other OTT platforms. I got one of the biggest the biggest transgender shows coming out. It's called The Girls Club. It's spelling girls G W O R L S. The Girls Club. It is one of the most interesting. Moving Chilling shows. I mean, you, you really get to go inside of their life and understand what they've been through, their struggles, and then you hear their story. You have a whole new outlook. If you was looking that way, you looking this way. I also have an agency called The Agency. I I'm like focusing that. on LGBTQ. I like that. And and they're my real close friends as well. Yeah. So um, I think when people see how we work together yeah. and how everything is always supposed to be on the up and up highest level of respect, that's when everybody jumps in line and does the same thing. So we just got to be one of the first people to jump out and support. For now, all eyes are on Ray J and Princess Love as they navigate this challenging time. While the public waits for more details, this incident serves as a reminder of the pressures faced by celebrity couples in the spotlight and the impact these pressures can have on family dynamics that will continue to follow this developing story. Stay tuned to Celebrity News for more updates on Ray J's legal battle and the future of his relationship with Princess Love. You know what's actually interesting is, uh, I forgot to mention this. When when me and Wack were talking out essentially what had happened with our falling out and everything else like that, one of the things I mentioned was one of the problems I had, because me and Ray J actually have a history. Vlad TV was at SRC Records, which is part of Universal, and Ray J was signed to SRC. Mm -hmm. 
So me and Ray J, I'd done interviews with him. We had a relationship and everything is else like that. Is this SRC Steve Rifkin? Yeah, Steve Rifkin. It used to be loud. It got changed to SRC, which is Akon, Melanie Fiona, mm -hmm. whatever else, right? So at the point that me and Wack are arguing on the phone, he puts Ray J in on three-way. And I remember I, I talked to Ray J. I was like, yo, I'm, the part that kind of hurt me was me and you have a relationship and you let someone who works for you bug out on me. And Wack said, well, see, this is where you had your mistake because you're thinking you're talking to Ray J, the artist, but Ray J is actually a Pyru and I'm a Pyru general. So Ray J is not going to say anything against me. Right. Well, because yeah. the thing is that there was a discrepancy when I talked to Ray about this was when you and I had that argument, you put Ray on the phone. Yeah. And Ray J said that I never got on the phone. So no, I'm like- No, 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 y'all was definitely on the phone. That's what I'm saying. So when I talked to Ray J, I'm like, listen, like my whole thing, because me and Ray J go back to the SRC days. Yeah, I knew Ray J before I ever met you. I had interviewed Ray J. Ray J was signed to the label I was working at, SRC Records. So me and Ray go on. So I'm like, Ray, like, why would you get on the phone when this is happening with your man? When you know me, I wouldn't let one of my people talk crazy no, to you. No. Oh no, see, it's the problem. See, but, but that was my rationale. Y'all both time. see Ray as an RB singer. Yeah. Ray Ray Paul wrote. Okay. He on the phone with a G homie. Got it. He ain't got no chance, no, no okay, option fair enough. but to stand with me. And everyone in the comments was like, Ray J's a Pyru? This is the first time. This is the first time I had ever heard it. Right. But you know that. I do. That's interesting. What, what's the whole story with Ray J and the whole Pyru thing? It's just, kind of, I mean, it's just Los Angeles, bro. And, and Ray J is, he, Ray, you know, Ray J is from um, Stevenson Village. I mean, uh, uh, wait, is it Stevenson Village? I can't, I can't remember. I don't, I don't know if it's Stevenson Village. Don't get me wrong. But Ray J uh, grew up in a, uh, in, a, in a Pyru hood in Carson, California. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, he is affiliated. So, I mean, it's just as simple as that. Right. So the thing with Kim runs his course. But later on, there's a rumor that you dated Chloe. I dated Chloe. Is that was a little weird? Because you're dating both sisters? Uh, you know what it is? The reserve uh, <laughs> with the Kardashians is, is pretty smooth, man. They, I don't know. They let each other live, man. I don't know. <laughs> and, and I, yo, and, and low key, the way that the the way that they are as a whole, and I mean all the sisters and Chris, who is uh, a great person, um, the way that she raised her daughters is they just live their life, man. And I don't think nobody's nobody ever gets too mad at anybody about anything. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you see on TV, I've been like in the in you know in that um, inner circle, and um, yeah, nobody's really stopping anybody from living their best life over there or holding fucking grudges. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I think they they might be all mad at me now at this point. I don't like, <laughs> but you know what's crazy about that is that, um, if I see him, I think it's it's gonna be all love. I just haven't put myself in anywhere that they would be or vice versa. But every time I see him, it's all love. But I think I I don't know what I did the last time I did something. I probably said something wrong. And they probably didn't like it, but. Um, all, all, all the Kardashians do, and and not not to slight them or anything, is they, un, they un, like, they just roll shit out about their lives and everybody's lives on television for I don't know, twenty fucking years. So it's not like what I did or what I say is like anything far off from what they're doing. It's just like certain things make certain people mad, and I get it. But I got nothing but love and respect for Kim and Chloe and definitely Courtney. Um, this is my favorite Kardashian, by the way. Um, and she's now, you know, married to one of my best friends and it's inside and outside of music, which is, which is Travis Barker. That's my dog. And, um, so yeah. And then Rob, Rob is my homie. Um, mm -hmm. you know, Rob is the black sheep, you know what I'm saying? On <laughs> purpose. But yeah, nah, they're a good family, man. And I, I, I fuck with them and I, I don't got nothing but love for them. You and Black China dated at one point? We didn't date. No? No. So that's not true. We just, nah, we was at a strip club mm -hmm. and, uh, had a night, just a night. Just a night. Just a night. Okay. India Love. India Love. Yeah. India Love. She ain't not a Kardashian, man. No. I'm, I'm just going through your dating oh. history. Oh, yeah. My dating I, history. I'm outside the Kardashian yeah, circle Yeah, yeah. India India's a good girl, man, from a good family. And I love, uh, and not again, not slightly by but I love when people are from, um, women are from two-parent homes. Um, they're just a little bit 
you know, a little bit different and the dynamic is different and you can tell. And not having daddy issues is a fucking huge thing. It plays a huge role in a woman's life, especially when that woman comes into your life because she comes in knowing how to, you know, do certain things around the household and shit. So yeah, but Indy- How you think that is? When you see what you saw, uh, is it, there'll never be no support in that. Never. That was, but that's before they saw what they saw. Once they saw what they saw, once I saw what I saw, I ain't never seen no shit like that, bro. Can't nobody do nothing like that in front of me, in person. Big had invited me down to the uh, Four Seasons, him and C's, and psh, we spent all day literally brainstorming about some shit, watching all the videos that was coming out. Um, yeah, big plans for Little Kim, big plans for the new shit he was doing with C's. Um, yeah, man. That was like a day before. That nigga was cool more than most people in the world. Cool, real cool, dude. Shout out to Lil C's. Um, and he'll back all that up because you want that to be backed up, saying shit like that. Those are my brother Lil C's though. He made it all happen. Ray J recently broke his silence about Diddy, addressing the lack of public support from celebrities amid Diddy's mounting legal issues. Ray J suggested that many of Diddy's friends and associates are taking their time to understand the serious allegations before making any public statement. He believes they are still processing the information and waiting to see how the situation unfolds before speaking out. Ray J emphasized that it's a complex issue and that people need time to comprehend what is true and what isn't. It's just not okay. And you know, when somebody is around somebody, we're counting on them to be our one of our leaders in a space that we're all trying to get to. That's not acceptable to do. And um, it's not okay. I mean, it might be forgivable in the sense of a spiritual a realm of life or forgive everybody, but it's unforgettable. And that's where you just draw the line on friendship and hanging out and supporting and being cool. It's like, nigga, it's done, you know, and that's it. Yeah, that video was out of pocket, man. It should never get to that point where you stumping a female, man. It's not okay, man. And it's not, and it's not something that niggas can just take lightly, you know? Cannot do that. Not okay. Niggas is not cool. Period. You knowing Diddy personally, was you surprised when you seen that video? Heartbreaking. And shameful. And unacceptable. I've never seen nothing like that. I've never seen nothing like that in the, in the history of my life. So, that's a new for me. I don't know what kind of demon you are, but you know, somebody need to motherfucking form an exorcism fast. Yeah, I feel you, man. I mean, I'm still in disbelief about what I seen. To see him kicking her like that, man. Yeah, that was crazy, man. It, there's no, there, there's no place in, in that. And for somebody like me or anybody to say what I'm saying, they better not have had something like that happen. You get what I'm saying? Because now they didn't put their whole self at risk with being honest, you know what I'm saying? It's like people watch these reality shows and you see certain people arguing and shit get a little tense, right, on reality. But there's a there's a certain level of where you don't go. You get what I'm saying? And this and that just do not go together. It just doesn't. You can't compare this of, you know, a, a back and forth verbal whatever it is in a sense of having a disagreement right and, and even getting too loud at this point is not even okay but that is way on another page of somebody yelling or screaming that is not that's not humane 
you think it's over for him? It's not about that. It's just about, you know, life, life in this industry goes on without certain people because their membership club is revoked. Their membership in the club is revoked. It's, it's over. So you don't have room to make mistakes like that in the, in the big club. You can't do that. You can't. It's not that's inexcusable. What you mean by that when you say his membership is revoked? Meaning, if you threw a party tonight, the people on your in, in, invitation list, that club, the people that throw a party tomorrow or a foundation um, for be anything. Anything that that um, that has substance to it, right? It's no longer available for certain people to be invited to or, or welcome. But as time went on, the story started piling up and people began about how he treated his artists with many saying they felt used and discarded Mays, for instance, was publicly called out for keeping his publishing rights, saying he was financially trapped despite his contributions to the label's success. There are some people recently. His own experiences with Diddy have been varied since he's been around. Diddy's famous parties and industry dealings, which are often shrouded in secrecy and controversy during an interview, when asked about whether he saw any shady stuff at Diddy's parties, Ray J chose to plead the fifth, suggesting there's more to the story than he's willing to share public high profile. Controversies his career has seen its share of ups and downs from his early music success to his role in reality TV and his tumultuous personal life, and his decision to speaking out now highlights the growing unease in the entertainment industry about Diddy's actions and the potential to fallout from these serious accusations. Ray J's comments reflect a hesitancy within the industry to confront powerful figures like Diddy directly, while some like Aeon, who has called for prayers and patience, others seem to be waiting for more clarity before taking a stand. The situation underscores the power dynamics at play and the fear of retribution that keeps many silent. His career took off in the late 1990s with his debut album, Everything You Want in 1997, however, was his second album, This Ain't a Game, that brought him more recognition, particularly with the hit single, Wait a Minute, featuring Lil' Kim in his third album, Radiation. Released in 2005, included the popular track, One Wish, which became one of his, and don't forget to like and subscribe.